Damn it, Dad. Why'd you have to leave me so many years ago? I've been trying to continue your work. To, to study storms, to, to chase twisters, Dad. But I can't. You want to know why? It's because I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'll end up dead in the ditch because of twisters, just like you did. And I can't do that. I can't. I have a wife. I have three kids. They need me. And I'm not going to leave them like you left us. I'm sorry. I... I know you didn't mean for it to happen like that. Damn those twisters. Damn them. This is Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller? I'm Agent Alan Snow from the Federal Bureau of Investigations Weather Division. Are you the son of Dr. Jonas Miller? Uh, yes. Yes, Agent Snow. I am. Dr. Miller, I have some very important news to share with you. Well, we, uh, we've located your father, son. He's alive, Dr. Miller. Your father's alive. Hello, Dr. Miller? Hello? I knew it! I knew my dad could get himself untwisted. Damn it, Dad. Why'd you have to leave me so many years ago? I've been trying to continue your work. To, to study storms, to, to chase twisters, Dad. I think that any time you make a sequel to a movie that came out, you know, 25, 30 years ago, um, I think there's an inherent danger there because there's just some people who are not gonna be happy about it, you know? Um, especially with a movie as beloved as Twister is. But um, I also think that there's a sense of excitement there and a boldness to it, you know? Like, yeah, we're, we're doing this. We are going to make a sequel to Twister. It truly started as a joke. I think I said something about untwisted or something, and then that seemed to really strike a, a, a match, a spark in his his brain, in his in his soul. The light bulb went off in my brain, and I told him I think that's a great title for a sequel, and it just sort of started there, uh, very simply over over the course of of texting. And I said to him, I said, Paul, write me a script. And even when I said that, that was a joke. You know, as soon as he said that, I'm like, I, I have to do this. Uh, I was scared, there's no doubt about it. I was terrified at the idea of 
you know, really taking on something this uh, important, something that was important to so many people, you know. <laughs> Paul wrote a script and and he gave it to me and it was, it, it, I mean, we've all seen what happened. We all saw it. Damn those twisters. Damn them. I felt the need to do it. As soon as he said that, there was something inside me saying like, this is, this is the right, this is the moral thing to do, you know? I'm afraid I'll end up dead in the ditch because of twisters, just like you did. When I sat down to write the film, you know, there there was so many different directions that I thought a sequel to Twister could, could go in. But I was always fascinated in the first film with what happened to Dr. Jonas Miller. You know, Dr. Miller in it was a standout. It's just a beautiful performance. And of course, Helen is wonderful as well. And I also thought it would be great to see Carrie back, you know, for the sequel. Um, and I'm really glad that we were able to get him back because I think that what he brings to this and his performance in Untwisted is remarkable. Um, I don't think, quite frankly, that we could have done this without him. I have a wife. I have three kids. They need me. And I'm not going to leave them like you left us. The hardest part of portraying Dr. Miller, the son, of course, probably the brainiac, because, I mean, he's a real brainiac, right? He's, he's a... He's a, he's a doctor, he's a professor, he, he's an expert in the climate, and especially twisters. And I know nothing of that. You know, I, I did a little research, of course, and I tried to get into the headspace of that, not just as an actor, but as a director and whatnot. I think that Mike Hayes' performance in this film is everything. You know, when I, when I wrote the film, um, we've known each other for two years, so I wrote the part of Dr. What's his name? Dr. What's his name in the movie? I, I've known Paul for two years, and through that time, he and I have really, really bonded and gotten to know each other very well. I think we make a great team, and I, I truly trust him with 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 not just a script or filmmaking in general, but with my life. What I did not expect was, you know, the level of gravitas, really, that he that he brings to this performance. And um, the heartbreak, you know? I mean, you can hear it, hear it in his voice. He is a true, I mean, scientists, you know, and, and, and it, he's the kind of person we have to thank for the advances we've had in, in weather warning systems and whatnot. So many more people got twisted in the past. And, and now, because of people like him, there's far less twistings. I know you didn't mean for it to happen like that. The way that Mike, you know, took the material and just transformed into this other person this this person who has suffered loss and who is still trying to find himself in a lot of ways i think it's just amazing um and my hat is off to him for this per not only this performance but also you know creating the world around him i kind of thought that as we were going through the process of making this movie that um, Mike was going to film it. He said, you write it, I'll film it. And then at that point, I kind of thought that I would get it back and I would do the editing and a lot of the post-production work. But he said, no, no, I got this. I got me to do me very well. I got me to do Dr. Miller. I got me to do the FBI agent. I also got me to do the editing. And I said, you know, you know, I said, okay. And what he did uh, in creating the environment around him, this, this office that he's been working out of for God knows how long, you know, dealing with the, with, the, with the ramifications and the repercussions of 
losing his dad at such an early age, you know, to a twister. It's just remarkable what he did. And I'm, I'm hoping that people take notice in terms of the effects work not just the acting performance, but Mike's effects work in this film is just uh, absolutely top notch. I'm proud of it, and I think others will be. I think I think the nature scientists, the weather scientists who see it, God, I hope, will will truly no, yeah, truly, truly, truly. Um, I'm Agent Alan Snow from the Federal Bureau of Investigations Weather Division. Are you the son of Dr. Jonas Miller? I wasn't sure how I was going to get into the headspace of a law enforcement officer, but but it hit me at some point it, that this isn't any law enforcement officer. This is the the weather division of the FBI. This is this is the FBI's version of say like the National Park you know folks and stuff like that. People who are overlooked, people who truly want to do good, who got into it for the right reasons and who really want to help the world and society. And that really helped put me in a place of where I felt like I knew where they were coming along. When I was researching the role, I had to do like six Google searches and they were always on the, you know, the second or third page, this kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's not even listed on the actual FBI.gov website, but it's there. It's a real thing. It's a thing, but they just get overlooked so often. Once I realized this, I became so excited to try to bring some light to them and, and, and hopefully some appreciation. So maybe, maybe when they're sitting at a bar and someone realizes who they are, they might thank them. And I hope they do because they deserve it. They deserve all the thanks in the world. Your father's alive. I hope it does provide the fans with a certain sense of closure. Um, but there's also, you know, the door is left open for more. Um, will that happen? I don't know. You know, at this point, I, I really have no idea. But the door is open. By learning about his father's twisting and then untwisting, young Dr. Miller was able to untwist himself on the inside. If this is it, you know, we put a bow on it, you know, and, and, and we were able to, you know, tell all the fans of now the Twister franchise, which is great to say, um, that Dr. Miller did get untwisted. Uh, I was going through a, a pretty serious rough patch and I myself needed to be untwisted and just being able to open it up and untwist it on the inside, truly, truly, truly saved me. You know, and at, at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. A sense of closure and uh, really a sense of peace um, for the entire Miller family, for Helen Hunt, for everyone you know, that, uh, whose lives were touched by Dr. Miller, by all of the Dr. Millers, really. Through this script that Paul wrote, I was able to become untwisted. Yeah. Yes! Yay! Yes!